Hello some viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to discuss how to change a SVG image color by using some filters. This was a question asked by one of the viewer. Talha, you did not change color, just the image. If you see this video on how to change color of SVG, here I have changed the color but internally if you see the code, it's an image change. Here what we'll do, we'll add a filter and we'll try to change the image color. Without any further ado, let us start the video. So I'll use a HTML page, so HTML tag I have used. So two things we'll be using here, we'll be using style and we'll be adding an image. As you can see on the left hand side, already have an image called bird.svg bird.svg already have I'll be using the same image and I'll be changing the color on hover so let me write a style tag In, this is a style where we add few things let us add dot icon if you are familiar with CSS we'll be using dot in the beginning and this signifies that we can use this class later in the program so I'll be using this these are few things how the icon should look like. So before doing that, before adding the style, let us add the div, right? So that I could show the program properly. So let us add a div tag here. The division tag where I'll be calling my SVG image. So I'll write object type as image slash SVG plus XML and the data what is the data here? Data is a source here. My source, as I've already told, it's bird.svg. Bird.svg. Alright. So, I'll be using this object. And I'll be adding this um, bird.svg as an image. So, let's see. Let me reload this page. So, this is my image. So, this is the SVG image. Alright, so this image, I'm hovering it, but it's not changing because we haven't added any code. Right, so I'll add a code to change during hover. So let us go back to the program. Now, let us go to styles. Styles, I'll take this icon. We can see the style one by one. I'll put open bracket, close bracket. I want display should be inline blur okay so then i'll take width let us take um, 300 pixel it should be proper it should be huge but not to the level of a huge pick but 300 pixel will be okay so let us add height okay height let us write 300 pixel if width and height are same the image will look good now I can add background size, okay, background size. So I'll be writing this as cover. So now, as soon as this icon is over, two things we can add, dot icon, this is bird, and I'll write hover. While hover, what will happen, and I'll ask, also add one more class, dot icon bird focus, okay. So two things, two class I'm adding the same thing here. So if you see, we have filter. If you want to Google guys, filter is really good. It will filter the scale of an image. See these many attributes it has, blur, contracts, brightness, grayscale, etc. Let me convert to the red. So I'll just add invert. I'll give 27 percentage. You can take this percentage and you can play around and whatever the color you want, you can add it. So I'll be using next sepia. So this is one of the attribute or the method it has. So I'll write 51% and then saturate. This is also one of the other things. So 2878 percentage. So I'll be using the same icon bird in my program. So I want both the classes here. 
So how can I take both the class? I'll say I'll write class equal to icon. I have to just give space icon hyphen bird. Alright. So let me save this. So let me go back to the Chrome. Reload it. So icon image is here. Just hover it. The color changes. Hover color changes. I'll put the code in the description, but I cannot use this open bracket and close bracket in the description it won't allow so just guys you have a look at the code and you try to mimic the same code maybe the adding different filters maybe you can get different different colors for that hope you have liked the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you are a new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye